Welcome to this class everyone. Uh, today I'm bringing you the first in my series called Learn the Basics of French. As you can guess from the title, it's a course for people who have no previous knowledge of French. My name is Anton Kunin. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at this slide presenting you some of the common French words and what is interesting about them. Maybe you can already guess it now. What is interesting about them is that they look very similar to the English equivalents. But of course they do not sound the same. Sometimes the spelling differs a little bit. But now I'd like to read them to you. Uh, I'd like you to listen and compare those French words and the English equivalents. I hope this will give you a sense of what the French language sounds like. Sensible, bar, confortable, couleur, station, client, communiqué, restaurant, relation, concert, accepté, continent, chocolat, accident, rôle. Okay, uh, I think it's been a nice introduction to the French language, but now let's get down to uh, the material proper. And the most logical thing to do now is to look at the alphabet. So as you can see in the title, it says l'alphabet français, the French alphabet. And I'd like to read to you the letters of the alphabet first. So just listen to them. Uh, try to compare the names of those letters in French with the names of the corresponding letters in English because sometimes they differ. Okay, so here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So, uh, this is the French alphabet. What we are going to do now is, uh, I'd like to read it again, and I'll be reading the names of letters together with some common names. So common French names. Uh, I think you know some people who bear those names, some celebrities maybe, and I'd like you to try to uh, think of some people you know who have those names. Okay? Maybe not necessarily people from France, people from French-speaking countries. So here we go again. A comme André, B comme Brigitte, C comme Céline, D comme David, E comme Elie, F comme Félix, G comme Gilles, H comme Hélène, I comme Irène, J comme Jacques, K comme Kamal, L comme Léonard, M comme Mathieu, N comme Nicolas, O comme Omar, P comme Pierre, Q comme Quentin, R comme Rose, S comme Sylvie, T comme Thomas, U comme Ursule, V comme Véronique, W comme William, X comme Xavier, Y comme Yves, et Z comme Zia. Let's move on. So, on this slide you see some greetings. The first and most common one is bonjour. You can see it everywhere. At the top of the slide, at the bottom of the slide, you see the same word bonjour. But uh, if you look at the top of the slide, you can also say bonjour madame, bonjour monsieur. Well, maybe you've heard those words already. Madame and monsieur, those are just polite ways to address people. We say monsieur to address men and madame to address women. Uh, actually, there are two words for women, but uh, 
as well as in English, it depends on whether the woman is married or not. But if you don't know or if you're not sure, better say madame. So if you say this, you'll be always right. You'll never uh, say anything wrong. So we can say bonjour madame, bonjour monsieur. So it's considered more polite if you add those words, madame and monsieur. It's, it's just more polite, nothing else than that. And if you look at the bottom of the slide, you can also say bonjour madame Dupont, bonjour monsieur Martin. So what is it? Of course, Martin and Dupont, those are family names. So you can say monsieur and madame plus the family name. Also a common way to greet people you know. All of those are formal, formal ways to address, to greet people. You don't say monsieur and madame to people you know very well. It's only between colleagues at work, in shops. So here we have another one. We have bonsoir. Uh, bonsoir, it's a greeting we use in the evening. Uh, literally, it translates like uh, good evening. So we can say bonsoir madame, bonsoir monsieur. Bonsoir Madame Dupont, bonsoir Monsieur Martin. So the same uh, greetings that we had. The only difference is that you say bonsoir in this case. So let's uh, get back to this first slide and try to repeat those. I'd like you to repeat after me. Bonjour Madame. Bonjour Monsieur. And let's also say Bonsoir, Madame Dupont. Bonsoir, Monsieur Martin. Okay, and let's look at this slide as well. Here we have Salut. Uh, salut is an informal way to greet people. Uh, you can only use Salut with friends, uh, with people you know very well, maybe with people inside your family, and that's it. So, salut is only for informal situations. And at the bottom we have uh, ways to say goodbye. We have au revoir and salut. So, salut again, it's a way to say goodbye as well. Salut is only used for informal situations. But au revoir, you can use it for any situation. Au revoir. Okay. So catching here, we have some pronouns, some personal pronouns. And the first ones we will have are those you see on the slide. So we have this table. Maybe you are already familiar with this. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, we have this singular on the left-hand column and the plural in the right-hand column. In French, this will be singulier et pluriel. So the first a colon at the top is the first person, then we have the second person and the third person. So we have je, tu, vous. So je, as you can guess, it will mean I. And we have two words to mean you, tu and vous. Well, what's the difference? Uh, of course, you can use tu when there is only one person and vous where there are several people. But there is also this difference. Uh, they say tu for informal situations, like uh, when you are between friends, uh, you can say tu uh, with your relatives. Uh, you can use it to address people you know very well, uh, to address children. We use tu. But in formal situations, you can say vous. And actually, uh, if you don't know the person very well, if you know that it's not someone who is close to you. Maybe it's a colleague at work or just a person you are related to by business reasons. You say vous. So vous is formal and tu is informal. Uh, so now we'll get back to those pronouns and take a second look at them. So we have je, tu, vous. And now it's logical to look at the verb être. Être means to be. So it's one of the most common verbs, être. And as you see, we have the same structure. And we'll look at the forms for those pronouns we have discussed just a while ago. So we have je suis, tu es, vous êtes. 